Well, good afternoon, viewers, and welcome back. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, challenged uh, FSD 13.2.9 to the uh, Norwest Boulevard roundabouts, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't think at the time, but uh, there wasn't a lot of traffic because we were in uh, school holiday time. Uh, now, I'm heading out this way uh, this afternoon it's now 4.45 on a Monday afternoon. We're not in school holidays. Uh, we're approaching peak hour. Uh, I thought I would uh, do this Norwest Boulevard roundabout challenge again. Uh, this time I've added a couple of um, right turn, U-turn, right turn combinations uh, all in roundabouts just to uh, see how FSD handles it. Turn left onto Norwest Boulevard. Just to see how FSD handles it. And uh, we also, what I'm looking for too is how uh, FSD uses its blinker to indicate to other drivers what it now will be doing. Now turn left onto Norwest Boulevard. Now, I know that we need to be in the right lane here. <laughs> so I'll just correct that. First we're FSD just does not look very far ahead. Um, I know that we're going just now there. We were the doing a left, and take the third exit. followed by a right, and let me just uh, prepare to edit this trip. Uh, good use of the blinker so far. Done, and we should do a U-turn at this roundabout. Now enter the roundabout and take the fourth exit. And then we'll go back to that roundabout that we just came from and do a right turn. And so far there certainly looks like there is more you can overtake here because they're all going left. I'll give it a little bit of accelerator to see if it will keep going. There we go. Uh, that was a right turn, U turn. Now enter the roundabout and take the third exit. Followed by a right turn. Here we go. Now we do have the the Norwest Boulevard peak hour traffic here. We'll see how FSD handles this. I will try to not um, use the accelerator to prompt the move. We'll see what FSD does. I just have to wait for a, a break in two lanes of traffic. And there's no one waiting behind us, so we're not holding anyone up. And that we're just looking for a break in one lane. No. Go now, go, 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 come on. Thank you. <laughs> right, still got the right blinker and now a left blinker. Come on, come on, come on. A little bit late with the left blinker. Let's take out the next trip, next uh, destination. Uh, turn will be left so we need to get over in the left lane sometime in the next kilometre or less just passing uh, Norwest Metro Station here and entrances on the left and the right The um, Hillsong Mega Church is just down to the right here. This next roundabout we're just going straight ahead. There was nothing. Oh, there is another roundabout there. I could have added that, wouldn't I suppose? 
In 300 meters, Next time. enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Uh, after this roundabout we've got uh, 500 metres when we turn left. I just wish uh, FSD would look further ahead than just 200 metres. It's often not enough when there's heavy traffic. Uh, no cars coming there, so straight through. Okay. Good. Oh, well, good. We got in the left lane with 400 metres to go. Oh, sorry, 300. In 200 metres, enter the roundabout and take the first exit. Now enter the roundabout and take the first exit. Nope, no cars on the right. Uh, that was easy. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. I have to edit this trip to take this one out. Go. Just go around. Round, round, round. That's the way. Oh, it was almost too late taking that one out. Now enter the roundabout and take the first now, exit. This is all showing red on the map here, but it's not really that busy. Now we need to be in the right lane. Come on, turn the right blinker on and change after this car. Good. That's with 400 metres to go, goodness. This is an improvement. I don't think we've had any new software. This next roundabout here is usually the busiest of all the roundabouts on Norwest Boulevard. I've just noticed that um, the car has changed the rest of my trip here. It was going to turn right onto um, Old Windsor Road and it's now going uh, straight across and up through Glenwood. <coughs> so in this case, uh, the next roundabout we're going to turn right then we'll do a U-turn at a roundabout, and then we'll come back to this roundabout here and do another right turn. This um, roundabout here is sometimes controlled by traffic lights. Uh, in times of heavy traffic, it gives... Uh, in 200 metres, enter the roundabout and take the third exit. Gives drivers in the um, side roads a bit of a chance to get out I suppose.
No, the traffic lights are not in operation at the moment, so it's functioning as a roundabout. Now enter the roundabout and take the third exit. Okay, so the first time through this roundabout is quite easy. I In suspect the meters, uh, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Expect the second time through here. We got a left blinker. Yes, we have. Thank you. Uh, we'll just take out uh, edit. Take out that one. Come on, get out. Now enter the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Once right, so around this roundabout. In 200 metres, enter the roundabout and take the third exit. Go for the right lane, please. And then, head it trip, take out that one. Now enter the roundabout and take the third exit. Oh, a big gap coming up. Oh, this is too easy. Too easy, too easy. Right blinker and left blinker now. A little bit late with the left blinker on uh, roundabouts, I think. Okay, stay in the right lane because we've got a right turn coming up. Well, there you are, viewers. Thank you for watching. That was the... Uh, the Norwest roundabouts in a um, in a in a beginning of a peak period. Um, I might be coming back this way in an hour or two, so if I am, I'll um, add that on to the end of this video. But if not, uh, if you have been watching, thank you for watching. And as they say, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.